this is a quick demonstration of what Shadow Multicast can do. So once you've installed the software, we can go up to the menu, click on the menu, and go to the first thing on the menu, which is Shadow Generate, and then we can select by moving a mouse over which month we would like to generate the shadows. In this case, I just want to generate the shadows for September. So then I can pick which hours I would like to generate the shadows for. We'll left click on all hours. Now the program will ask us for a point on the building. So we'll click a point and now it asks us for a height of the building at this point. We'll type in 3000, which is 3000 millimeters, which is equivalent to 3 meters, and then we can click enter. And as you can see, it's generated a whole bunch of lines. Each one one of those lines represents a different hour for September. So if we click on one and we look at the top of our layers, we can see that we're on 7 a.m. Or we click the next one, we can see that that's 12 p.m. Now we can go around and continue to do that on all the points of the building. So we can just press enter again to restart the command. Click on the point, enter 3000. And we'll do that on the next point. 3000, next point, 3000, and you do it on every point of the building. And as you can see, the speed in which it generates these lines. And one more three meters here. And now we have a gable roof here, so we'll click on that. And we'll just say, make that four and a half meters, so 4,500 millimeters. Okay, now as you can see, we have a lot of lines on there, which can be a bit confusing to look at. So we can go back up to our menu and go to Show Shadows 4. We'll go down to September and we'll click on 9am. And now we have all the 9am shadows showing. So all we need to do now is we can create a line and then just simply click and join all the dots to create our shadow. And we can delete the ones that we don't require. And we can trim here. You may also notice these numbers that are on the roof plan. These represent the heights that we entered when we generated the shadows. Um, these numbers do not print on your drawing, but they're a handy reference for if you need to go back to a certain project and revisit. Uh, and Rather than having to have a piece of paper where you've written down all the heights, you can quite easily just see what, what height you determined at that point. So now we can go to our next hour and we'll go to 12 p.m. As you can see, it's moved to 12 p.m. And we'll click on that. And there and there, we have our shadows again. We can just clean up those other lines that we don't need. So just simply click on them and delete them. Then we have our 12 p.m. And we can do that again for 3 p.m. So just click there and there. And there's not much there to really do. There's a little bit of line there, but not much. Okay. Now, I've set up viewports on my paper space layout, as you can see here. Now, I've got 9am shadows, 12pm shadows, and 3pm shadows. So, I'm just going to check to make sure my viewport's unlocked. Okay. First thing we want to do is turn on all the shadows. So we'll go back to our menu, go to show shadows for September, and we'll click down the bottom here, show all September. So we've got a big mess of lines there again. So now we double click in one of our viewports. We can go up to our menu again. This time, instead of saying show shadows four, we're going to click on load viewport state. And we'll go to September and we'll click 9 a.m. As you can see there. And we can do the same in the next viewport. Go back to the menu, go to uh, load viewport state, and we'll click on 12 p.m. Okay. And we can do the same thing on our last viewport, click in it, 
go down to load the report to date, September, and click on 3 p.m. Okay. And there we go. We have all the different layer states set for the different hours. If we went back to model space, we'd see that all the lines are still on, but just that we've set them up in paper space so that they're yep, just, just different hours for each viewport that we would like. Uh, this is a basic sort of introduction to what Shadow Multicast can do. There are other tools available um, to help you with generating shadows um, as well as setting the appropriate north point. Um, also on the menu you'll see that there are layer defaults where you can change the layer colors and names to suit your office standards. So if we just select the on layer colors September layers at the bottom of the screen in the command prompt it'll now ask us for a new color. The colors are any number between 1 to 255 uh, or you can type in the name of the standard colors in AutoCAD, such as red, white, green, blue, cyan, yellow. Um, in this case, we'll just type in red. And as you can see, all the layers have changed to suit that color. Um, I recommend that you download the demo version of this software and try it out for yourself. I'm sure you'll be very impressed with speed and accuracy at which it generates shadows and if I can be of any help to you um, please send me an email. Thank you.